सर बोलू सर बोलू सर एक नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम ओके ठीक है आई हैव स्टार्टेड द रिकॉर्डिंग सो आई विल स्टार्ट द क्लास इमीडिएटली कैन यू सी दिस लाइव सी दिस लाइव जब रिपीट होते कर ले कैन यू सी दिस लाइव कोनो बटन हाथ दियो ना तुमरा प्लीज कैन यू सी दिस स्लाइड्स ये लो रिस्पॉन्ड करो हेलो प्लीज रिस्पॉन्ड हां सर नेटवर्क हमारा प्रॉब्लम हो चुका है कुछ कुछ मुझे स्लाइड तक देखते बच्चों हां सर देखते बच्चे अच्छा ठीक है so let people join let the students join slowly i will start the discussion a little early within another say 2 3 minutes okay i have been discussing on the grinding wheels which is actually the tool of the the cutting tool of the grinding machines like the single point and multiple point cutting tools in lathe and milling the grinding wheels are the cutting tool for grinding machines okay now we have discussed about the different type of grinding grinding machines the surface grinding machines the cylindrical grinding machines the central lathe grinding machines and also tool and cutter grinder we have seen the videos of all these machines how they work and what are the different movements and we have studied in the drawings also in the sketches also what are the movements in these grinding machines now we are discussing grinding wheels Only three people have joined. So let me wait for some time. Let me wait for some time. Let some more people join. Now the grinding wheels. These are abrasive wheels used in grinding machines. Now, what is abrasive wheel? Can anybody tell me what is abrasive wheel? can anybody tell me what is abrasive wheel what is the meaning of abrasive what is the meaning of abrasive sir jeta diye tools ke remove kare mane materials ke remove kare yes yes abrasive substances are substances we generate friction when rubbed against an object and removes the material okay they have got a good scratching characteristic one should say now grinding wheel or abrasive wheel is the cutter of the grinding machine it has two main components the abrasive and the bond there is a abrasive in the form of particles and there is a bond which holds the abrasive particles together abrasive does the actual cutting 
and the bond holds the abrasive fragments during cutting. Because during cutting, you have seen in the video of the machines that there are flashes coming out. That means a lot of friction is generated and a lot of forces are also coming on the wheels and on the job. So the abrasive wheel, abrasive particles must be held together. That is the job of the bond, which actually is holding the particles together, abrasive particles together. Why I'm going ahead? Because these slides are already discussed in the class, but I'm taking the opportunity of repeating it again so that you know it, it will refresh your memory. Now, the characteristics of the grinding wheel depends on the following. What are those? Abrasive material, grain size, bonding agent, grade and structure. We will discuss these things one by one because actually these characteristics, they generate the specification of the grinding wheel. So what are abrasive materials? The abrasive materials can be natural, which is obtained in nature and can be artificial also, which are manufactured by processing. Natural abrasives are solid quartz or sandstone, emery, corundum, and diamond. Quartz is a so relatively softer material, while both emery and corundum are natural aluminum oxide. <clears throat> Emery contains lesser percentage of aluminum oxide and corundum contains up to 90-95% of aluminum oxide, so they are much harder. Less than gem quality diamonds are crushed and used to produce grinding wheels, to grind carbide tools and to make lapping compound. Other than the above, the other natural Abrasive material is diamond, which is actually famous for its use in gems, you know, in ornaments. Now, less than gem quality diamonds have the same hardness, so they are crushed and used to produce grinding wheels to grind carbide tools, which are extremely hard, and to make lapping compound, which we will study later in this course. I said about, I just briefly discussed about emery papers. Emery papers is a type of abrasive paper or, or sand paper. It's the name only. It's a sand paper that can be used to remove material from surfaces or mechanically finish a surface. Operations include debarring, polishing, paint removal, corrosion removal, siding, etc. I have explained about the process of debarring which follows many machining operations like turning, drilling, boring, and things like that, which is nothing but removal of extra chips which adhere to the material after machining and are called bars. They have to be removed for further use. Now, this debarring is accomplished by moving the abrasive coated paper with some pressure against the object being processed. You know, you have seen this is being used for wooden furnitures and this can be used for harder materials also where the grade of the uh, emery paper changes. Abrasion may be performed by hand, electrically powered or air powered equipment. The two basic artificially produced now we have actually finished the natural you know natural abrasives which are as we said which are emery corundum diamond and sandstone now the artificial materials which are used extensively in grinding wheels this is very important one is silicon carbide and another is aluminum oxide. Both are used as abrasive material for grinding wheels. Silicon carbide 
abrasives are manufactured from 56 parts of silica sand, 34 parts of powdered coke, and two parts of salt, eight parts of sawdust. They're produced in long rectangular electric furnace. Sand furnishes silicon, coke furnishes carbon, and sawdust makes the charge porous. Salt helps in fusing the charge. The wheels made of silicon carbide are denoted by capital S. There are two types of silicon carbide grids, green grids with 97% silicon carbide and black grids with less than 95% silicon carbide. Silicon carbide is used, this is very important. Silicon carbide is used for grinding materials of low tensile strength, such as stone, ceramic material, cast iron, brass, bronze, copper, aluminium, vulcanized rubber, etc. Aluminium oxide, the other, you know, artificial abrasive material, is manufactured by heating mineral bauxite. You know bauxite, we have studied in our chemistry class, that bauxite is a ore of aluminium. Aluminium is actually <clears throat> extracted from bauxite. Now here, mineral bauxite, iron oxide, titanium oxide are mixed with ground coke in earth furnace. It is used for grinding materials of high tensile strength. Now remember, silicon carbide is used for materials with low tensile strength and aluminium oxide is used for materials with high tensile strength, like say carbon steel, high speed steel, tough bronze, etc. And these wheels are denoted by capital A. Please remember, silicon carbide is denoted by capital S and aluminium oxide is denoted by capital A. So when you, when you want to select a wheel or when you want to buy a wheel, you must remember this. That for which purpose? Is it for a is it for a low tensile uh, low tensile strength material? Is it for stone or ceramic material? Then you will go for S, which is silicon carbide. But if it is a tough material like high speed steel, then you will go for aluminium oxide, which is A, denoted by A. I'm repeating this lecture because I got some time today in the morning, so I'm just repeating. I will finish the entire my material is totally ready so i'll finish the entire you know uh, entire syllabus on grinding wheels and its specification today so please concentrate please concentrate <clears throat> now, grinding wheels are classified or specified on the following elements. The standard marking system will have six symbols denoting the following in succession. What are the types? The abrasive type, which we have just discussed. The grain site, which is actually the size of the particle, abrasive particle grade, which is the bond strength, and structure, which is the density of the abrasive particle, which we have already told. Five is the bond type, which type of bond we have used. And number six is the manufacturer's record. So you will go one by one in this. So abrasive type we have already discussed. Number two, it comes the grain size or the grit. 
it means the size of the abrasive particles according to the whole size of the screen that they pass through which is for example 36 grain 60 grain 240 grain and things like that now if in a square inch of area the number of holes are smaller the grain size will be higher which will be called as coarse grains which are 10 12 14 16 20 and 24 the medium grade is 30 36 46 54 and 60 the fine grade is 80 100 120 150 180 and the very fine is 220 240 280 320 up to 600 so it is it is decided by the whole size of the screen and the whole size of the screen will reduce if you have more number of holes in one square inch of a screen this is similar to the concept of mesh if you remember the mesh concept it is the number of holes that is there in one square inch of a particular net same concept is applied here and the the larger the number of holes in a particular area of the screen, the smaller will be the size of the particle. So we know what is grain size and grit. Now bonding agent. There are basically six types of bonding agent. Please listen to this. We know the abrasive particle already. We know we are now going into bonding agent. The bonding agents are vitrified, Synthetic resin, silicate, shellac, and rubber. Now, what is vitrified? Vitrified bonds are used on more than 75% of all grinding wheels. So, 75% of the grinding wheels that you are using are manufactured with vitrified as a bonding agent. Vitrified bond material is comprised of finely ground clay and fluxes with which the abrasive is thoroughly mixed. And then it is actually heated in a furnace. The surface speed, the surface speed that normally can be achieved is 2000 meters per minute. You know, you have seen in your workshop that the grinding wheels move at a very, very high speed. You cannot really go near them. So for vitrified bonds, the speed limit is 2000 meters per minute. The mixture of bonding agent and abrasive in the form of a wheel is heated to 1300 degrees centigrade to fuse the material. So we have taken clay, powdered clay and fluxes and then we mix it in the form of a wheel in a mold and then heat it to 1300 degrees centigrade to fuse the material. Now clay, clay it gets fused and forms you know a crystal like substance which has got tremendously high bonding strength and the grinding wheels are made with vitrified bonds. Second is resinoid bond. Resinoid bonded grinding wheels are second in popularity to vitrified wheels. So vitrified wheels is the a, is a most popular. It covers 75% of the wheels. And then we come to resinoid wheels. Phenolic resin. This is actually a resin which is used for manufacture of plastics also. Thermoplastics. Uh, sorry, thermosetting plastics. Which I will deal with when we go to plastic molding. Now, phenolic resin in powdered or liquid form is mixed with the abrasive grains in a form and cured at about 180 degrees centigrade. Resinite wheels are used for grinding speed up to 4,009, about 5,000 meters per minute. They are main use in rough grinding and cut off operations. When you want to part off something, cut off some portion, you use resinoid form. So what we understand is that though the vitrified bond is used in large numbers, resinoid bonds can take more surface speed and, <clears throat> and use for rough grinding and cut-off operation. 
silicate bond is another bond bonding material this material is used when heat generated by the grinding must be kept to a minimum there are substances which are heat sensitive if large number if, if quite a huge amount of heat is generated the component may get damaged so the silicon bonding material releases the abrasive grains more readily than other types of bonding agents so the speed is limited to 1350 meters per minute the other two types of bonds are shellac bonds which is an organic bond used for grinding wheels that produce very smooth finish on parts such as rolls cutlery cam shafts crank pins generally they are not used on heavy duty grinding operations you know all these components like cam shafts and the cutlery the the you know the in the <coughs> the cutlery which is used in uh, in kitchen and in cookery so they are ground by shellac bonded grinding wheels which are softer and create smooth finish then we have rubber bond rubber bonded wheels are extremely tough and strong the principal uses is thin cut off wheels and driving wheels in centralized grinding machines we have studied centralized grinding Centralized grinding has got two wheels. One is a driving wheel, and another is a regulating wheel. The driving wheel in centralized grinding is made of rubber. They are also used. They are used also when extremely fine finishes are required on bearing surfaces. Now I will just wait here for five minutes, and would like to know if Tomra Jinista Guste Bacho ki na. Ami ki porachi. জিনিসটা দেখে মনে হতে পারে খুব শক্ত কিন্তু এমন কিছু কিছু নয় একটু ভালো করে মন দিয়ে শুনতে হবে তার মানে কি আমি প্রথমে কি পড়ালাম প্রথমে আমি পড়ালাম যে একটা গ্রাইন্ডিং হুইল এর ভেতরে তাকে স্পেসিফাই করবার জন্য কি কি মেটেরিয়াল লাগে কি কি অ্যাট্রিবিউট লাগে মেটেরিয়াল নয় অ্যাট্রিবিউট লাগে is that the density of the abrasive particles within the grinding wheel whether they are very closely spaced or they are spaced apart that is actually another specification do you have any question up to this please listen fast eh? please listen fast because this is a very absorbing subject and you must first first listen now this is actually not in your syllabus but i have included this because it is extremely important which is a metal bond now there are some materials for which we need we need metals as the bonding materials metals are what cobalt copper is the main material for holding the holding the abrasive particles metal balls are usually are used primarily as binding agents for diamond abrasives now we have covered all the abrasive types of abrasive already natural and you know artificial and things like that now metal bonds are used for diamond which is actually a natural abrasive and diamond you, you will be you will be seeing at later that it is used for dressing the, uh, the the sharpening the grinding wheel also i will just come to that after this finishing the wheel specification now metal bond grinding wheels are produced when powdered metals like copper cobalt as i already say or compounds containing cubic boron nitride or diamond now boron nitride is also extremely hard abrasive particle 
which is which is used along with diamond sometimes. And these wheels are produced by the method of sinter. So you take all these powders and use the sintering process, either a cold process or a hot process, to, to produce these tools. Now, from the manufacturing method, you can imagine that to, these tools are extremely tough. Exceptionally, resulting in exceptionally strong tools that maintain shape during rigorous use. In addition, metal bonding extends the life of the grinding wheels by reducing the need for repeated dressing and continues and continues being productive longer than market brand super abrasives. Whatever abrasives we have discussed earlier, these metal bonded wheels last much longer. Their use is much lower, of course, because diamond, you can imagine, is a very, very expensive material. But there are some applications, including the application of dressing the grinding wheel itself, you use metal bonded grinding wheel. Now, out of all the you know listed uh, characteristics, we have covered what we have covered so far. We have co covered the abrasive uh, abrasive type. We have covered the bond material. Now we are coming to we have covered the grain size also, grain size of the particles. Now we have come to the grain. Now what do you mean by grain? The grade of a grinding wheel is a measure of the strength of the bonding. holding the individual grains in the wheel. It is used to indicate the relative hardness of the grinding wheel. Grade or hardness refers to the amount of bonding material used in the wheel, not to the hardness of the abrasive. It has got nothing to do with the hardness of the abrasive. The grade is only a quality of the bonding material that you are using. Okay. <clears throat> Now, how the grade is de designated? The range used to in indicate grade as A to Z. We use letter uh, 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 letter notations here from A to Z, with A representing the maximum softness and Z maximum hardness. So from A to Z, this will be classified, the grade will be classified. The selection of the proper grade of wheel is very important. Wheels that are too soft tend to release grains too rapidly and wheel wear is great. Wheels that are too hard do not release abrasive grains fast enough and the dull grains remain bonded to the wheel causing a condition known as glazing. Now due to the others, say if the grading is the strength of the bond is too soft, then what will happen? The ab abrasives will be, abrasive particles will fall off. And if it is too hard, then what will happen? It will not fall off. What will happen? It will become dull and the material, the ground material will stick inside the wheel, making it, making it to glaze. That means it, it will become dull and it cannot grind anymore. Now come the final one, which is the grinding wheel structure. The structure of a grinding wheel refers to the relative spacing of the abrasive plates. I have already discussed in earlier classes that the distance between the abrasive particles gives you the structure. It is the wheel's density. There are there are fewer abrasive grains in an open structure wheel than a closed structure. Now there are numbers for the designation of the structure, 1 to 50, that designate the structure of the wheel. The higher the number, the more open the structure will be, and lower the number, the more dense in the structure. <clears throat> so we have we now know about abrasive type, about grain size, about grade structure we only would like to know about the bond type 
and a manufacturer's record. Now, what are the bond types? <clears throat> the bond types are like this. V stands for vitrified, B stands for resinoid, R stands for rubber, E stands for shellac, and A stands for silicate, which I have already discussed earlier. What is vitrified? What is resinoid? What is rubber? And, you know, the comparative uh, uses of these bonds. Now let us see how the grinding wheel is specified. Now let us see how the grinding wheel is specified. Now let us see how the grinding wheel is specified. Now let us see how the grinding wheel is specified. Now let us see how the grinding wheel is specified. Now let us see how the grinding wheel is specified. Now let us see how the grinding wheel is specified. Now let us see how the grinding wheel is specified. Now let us see how the grinding wheel is specified. Now let us see how the grinding wheel is specified. যেমন তোমাদের শিখিয়েছি সব কিছু স্পেসিফিকেশন দরকার তুমি একটা যদি ইমারশন হিটার কিনতে যাও বাজারে গিয়ে যদি বলো ইমারশন হিটার দিন ইউ উইল নট বি ওল্ড ইউ হ্যাভ টু টেল হিম দি ওয়াটেজ অফ দি ইমারশন হিটার এন্ড অলসো দি সাইজ অফ দি ইমারশন হিটার देयर আর 6 ইঞ্চি হিটারস এন্ড 12 ইঞ্চি হিটারস সো ইউ হ্যাভ টু টেল দি ওয়াটেজ এন্ড দি সাইজ দিস আর দি স্পেসিফিকেশন অফ এ পার্টিকুলার ইউ নো particular any particular engineering substance or even for anything for i mean i mean even for non engineering substances also you have to specify tumi jodi muger dal kinte chao tale pore to jiggesh korbe je apni ki choto choto mug chan sona mug chan naki boro boro dal ha chan jano tum onek kichu ekta tumi jodi chal kinte chao they will ask you apni ki banshkati chan na mini cat chan na onno kichu chan so specification is a part of life and you must learn specification of everything as an engineer now we will go into this we have seen the specification of a shaping machine we have seen specification of a lathe machine of a milling machine of a drilling machine without that you cannot just buy it you will buy something which will not be used which will not be in use and you will be in deep trouble for that so what is the specification specification is just written like this w a 46 k 5 v 17 that is the specification of a grinding wheel now what it says it says w and 17 are the manufacturer's designation and record w is a manufacturer's manufacturer's trade name or something like that maybe it is the trade name for carburandum universe or for grind well not these are the manufacturers of grinding wheels and 17 is a manufacturer's record number that 17 is something for his own record so these two extreme numbers are kept for the manufacturer we engineers we deal with these five numbers now what is a we already know that this is actually the designation of the abrasive used A stands for aluminium oxide. We already said if it is S, then that is for that is silicon carbide. Then 46, it stands for the grain size. We already said that the grain size are given in given in numbers of the mesh, which we have already discussed. Here it is: the coarse grain, medium grain, fine grain, and very fine grain. so these are the grades and it comes in the it comes in the it comes in the second place 46 that means 46 is the grain size for that particular wheel now k what is k k stands for grade i told you that this is a letter grade and from a to z 
from hard from soft to hard material it goes so k stands for a grain and 5 stands for the structure this also i said that it is the number between 1 to 50 so one is a dense material and as you go go further the material becomes open open and you know 5 means it is somewhat dense, you know, it is near to one, which is the most dense material. So it's a dense material. And V stands for the type of bond. V stands for vitrify, which I have already told in, uh, told in another slide that, uh, you know, what are the different abrasives used? Oh, it is on the last slide. It is on the last slide. So the bonds are. B as vitrified, B as resinoid, R as rubber, E as shellac, and S as silicon. So in these are the these are the specification. So when you select a grinding wheel, you must go by the specification. That what is the abrasive material that we will use, and you know the uh, you know the use of the abrasive materials also. You know where silicon carbide is used and where aluminum oxide is used. Silicon carbide is used for low tensile strength material and aluminum oxide is used for high tensile strength material. Then 46 is the grain size, K is the crate, 5 is the structure and V is the, v is the natural type of the bond that is used. Here it says the details of the classification, abrasive type, A for aluminum oxide, A for silicon carbide, grain size, coarse, medium, fine and very fine, you know the sizes which you have seen in other slides. Grade is from A to Z, A is softest and Z is hardest and structure is from 1 to 15, successively progressing from extremely dense to open structure. So we had this wheel as five, so somewhere, you know, somewhere to the dense structure, this particular thing. So this is the total material that is ready for today's class. And I wanted to go through the whole thing because it's a little, you know, uh, it's a little complicated subject, grinding wheel specification. And you must read it thoroughly. You must read my, my slide and read the book because the book may be uh, I just have the Haja Chaudhuri book in front of me. Boite kintu khub bhalo bhabe lekha ache. The slides are for understanding. Because if you read the books, any any subject, if you read the books, you will be have to read so many pages. And when you attend a class, you are concentrating on the main points of the of the subject. That is the job of a teacher so now you understand what are the main points and if you go into the book you will go into the detail points so you must study this textbook and in my subject it is Hajra Chodhuri's book which I said is it is a bible for manufacturing it has got all everything whatever is not there in Hajra Chodhuri I will take there are some chapters which are not you know uh, not dealt well by Hajra Chodhuri particularly the CNC machines portion, which I will give you in the in the next semester, not in this semester, in fifth semester in advanced manufacturing process. CNC machine is a chapter which is not well, uh, you know, well cl uh, clarified in Haja Chodhuri's book. But all these, you know, the conventional machines are very nicely, you know, explained in Haja Chodhuri's book. Tumra Haja Chodhuri boita chadvena, it is volume 1 to MP1, volume 2 to MP2, and also some portions of advanced manufacturing process. This is the way to talk about the way to talk about it. This is 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 the way to talk Please remember that. 90 more than 90 percent of the mechanical engineers will be working in manufacturing okay 
so you may have fancy in some area but the point is your life will be with this extremely practical subject of manufacturing tamar kotha gulo eto kon shona jacchilo to ami kintu ajke stop kori because this subject is so, because this subject is so absorbing i wanted you to listen first কারণ এই সাবজেক্টে কিন্তু শক্ত এটা বই থেকে পড়লে তুলতে খুব কষ্ট হবে তোমার বুঝতে পেরেছো এই জন্য আমি নিজেকে নিয়ে সাজিয়ে নিয়েছি না ছেলে আমি আজকে লাস্ট চার পাঁচ বছর ধরে পড়াচ্ছি এটা ধরো তারপরে তো ইন্ডাস্ট্রিতে আমি ইউজ করেছি এগুলো সমস্ত ওই যে বললাম স্ট্র্যান্ড রোড আর মালিক তলাতে মালার মতো করে ঝুলিয়ে ঝুলিয়ে দেখবে বিক্রি হচ্ছে সব এবং এটা সব ডিফারেন্ট শেপ আছে সেটা আমি আর একটা লেকচারে দেখাবো যে এর অ্যানাদার লেকচার অন গ্রাইন্ডিং দেন আই উইল ফিনিশ এন্ড আই উইল গিভ ইউ কোশ্চেনস অন গ্রাইন্ডিং সো now you you can ask me questions pratham kotha bolo amar puro lecture ta shunte peyecho to thik bhabe ha sir shona gache slide ta puro puri dekhte peyecho yes sir ei slide ta ami diye debo google classroom bujhle jemon shaping er somosto note diye diyechi grinding er somosto note diye debo ei ta আলাদা ভাবে করা আছে আমাদের ম্যানুফ্যাকচারিং প্রসেসের সিলেবাসটা তো অন্যরকম এখানে দিয়ে মেশিন দেখাতে হয় এখানে দিয়ে মেশিনের অপারেশন দেখাতে হয় বোঝাতে গেলে তারপরে কিছু অঙ্ক টঙ্কও আছে সব নিউমেরিক্যাল ট্রিটমেন্টও আছে কিন্তু গ্রাইন্ডিং হইলে এই স্পেসিফিকেশন এটা এটা বেশ একটা পুরোটা থিওরিটিক্যাল আলোচনা সুতরাং এটাতে আমি ওই জন্য পুরোটা পাওয়ার পয়েন্টে করেছি আর কি যাতে তোমরা এটাকে সুন্দরভাবে বুঝতে পারো এবং যদি কোনো কোশ্চেন থাকে তাহলে আমাকে এখন করতে পারো পরে যদি বাড়িতে গিয়ে পড়াশোনা করে মনে হয় কোন জায়গাটা বুঝতে পারছো না তাহলে আমাকে তোমরা জিজ্ঞেস করো আমি আর একবার একটু কয়েকটা জায়গা দেখিয়ে দিই মোস্ট ইম্পর্টেন্ট যেটা সেটা হচ্ছে যে তোমার এইটা যে কি কি জিনিস আছে গ্রাইন্ডিং হুইল কে স্পেসিফাই করতে গেলে একটা হচ্ছে অ্যাপ্রেসিভ টাইপ একটা হচ্ছে অ্যাপ্রেসিভ গ্রেন সাইজ একটা হচ্ছে গ্রেড ঠিক আছে so he has got one space in the front and one space at the end for his own designation and specification and things like that there's a batch number i saw that so those things will come in those two places so any question so far i didn't stop in this particular lecture because it is not a lecture to be stopped and then start again it is finished total i have included the metal bonds intentionally metal bonds are not uh, was not there in the syllabus but i i have included that because metal bonds are extensively used not like the vitrified bond the quantity may not be uh, may not be high but say diamond dressing wheels and all are used in many cases particularly wheel for wheel dressing it is very very important bolo sob chup hoye gacho ekdo sob chup kore gele keno eto sob to mone hocche ami kintu ekdom joto ta somvob jinish ta ke sohoj bhabe present korbar chesta korechi tomader kache ei jinish ta toiri korechi ami shei bhabe karon amar nijeo ei ta bolo ami jokhon industry te use korechi তখন তো আমি খালি স্পেসিফিকেশনটা জানতাম আমার মেটেরিয়াল ধরো আমার ইন্ডাস্ট্রিতে কি আমি যে মেটেরিয়ালগুলো ইউজ করি সেগুলো সমস্ত আমার জানা আছে এবং ওই মেটেরিয়ালের জন্য কোন হুইলটা লাগবে সেটা আমার জানা আছে সো আই ইউজ টু প্লেস অর্ডার এন্ড বাই হুইল বাট হোয়েন ইউ হোয়েন ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু গোইং টু গোইং টু থিওরিটিক্যালি ইউ কনসিডার অল টাইপস অফ মেটেরিয়ালস অল টাইপস অফ অ্যাপ্লিকেশন एवरी সো আই ওয়েন্ট টু দ্য ডিটেইলস অফ দিস হাজার চৌধুরী বইটা আরো অনেক ভালোভাবে ডিটেইলস এ দেওয়া আছে সেগুলো সমস্ত পড়ব কেমন ধরো আমি হাজার চৌধুরী বইটা আমার সামনেই আছে 
গ্রেড অফ দি গ্রাইন্ডিং হুইল স্ট্রাকচার অফ দি গ্রাইন্ডিং সেগুলো সবই বলে দিয়েছি এখানে তারপরে ক্রেন সাইজ দিস আর অল ইন ইট ইজ गिवन ইন ডিটেইল ইন চার্ট ফর তারপরে স্পেসিফিকেশনটাও ওরা সুন্দর করে ছবি এঁকে একদম বুঝি দিয়েছে হুইল স্পেসিফিকেশনটা কি নাম হয় এবং ও ও যে যে एग्जांपलটা আমি তুলে নিয়েছি ডব্লিউ এ 46 কে 5 ভি 17 ওটা এই হাজার চৌধুরী বই থেকে নিয়েছি ওই যে স্পেসিফিকেশন ड्रेसिंग चैप्टर বলো আমি একটু আগে থেকে আজকে আজকে ক্লাসটা শুরু করেছিলাম তোমরা হয়তো অনেকে তারপরে সেই থেকে যে ক্লাস শুরু হয়ে গেছে আমি ইচ্ছে করে করেছিলাম তার কারণ হচ্ছে কি কি নানা রকম ভাব সমস্ত সফটওয়্যারের প্রবলেম বা আমার এই নেটের প্রবলেম এই সমস্ত জন্য ক্লাসটা খুব ডিস্টার্ব হয় সেটা আজকে আমি একদম কমপ্লিটলি শেষ করে দিই শেষ করে দিই এবার আমি ওপেন করেছি তোমাদের কাছে ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ এ রিকোয়েস্টিং ইউ ক্যান আস্ক এখনো বন্ধু কিন্তু একটা ওকে কোশ্চেন জিজ্ঞেস করো বলো কোশ্চেন শুভ কোন কোশ্চেন নেই আচ্ছা তো সব ক্লাসে মেটেরিয়ালটা একটু দেখে পড়ে তারপর একটু কোশ্চেন করব হ্যাঁ মেটেরিয়ালসটা रियलिंग्रेसिवाल ঠিক আছে তাহলে তোমরা এটা পড়ে নাও আমি এর মধ্যে একটা क्वेश्चन তৈরি করছি অন গ্রাইন্ডিং যেমন শেপিং এর क्वेश्चन তৈরি করেছিলাম সেম গ্রাইন্ডিং এর क्वेश्चन তৈরি করব পুরো একটা সুটেবলি দিয়ে দেব তোমাদেরকে কিন্তু আমি কিন্তু পরীক্ষা ক্লাসের মধ্যেই এমন নয় যে দিয়ে দেব তোমাদের বলবো সন্ধ্যাবেলা করে দাও আই ক্যান নট ওয়ার্ক লাইক দ্যাট কারণ এগুলো সমস্ত এমসিকিউ क्वेश्चन এগুলো দিয়ে দিলে আর লাভটা কি হবে সো বি প্রিপেয়ার ভালো করে পড়ে টরে রেডি থাকো আমি গ্রাইন্ডিং এর মেশিনের উপরে একটা क्वेश्चन तो रिकॉर्ड दिए दो ठीक है एकदम दीजिए ना गूगल फॉर्म में उनको दे तुम्हारा उत्तर दे ओके ओके सर अच्छा एक जन क्यों अटेंडेंस टेक तो दिए दियो तो आज की अटेंडेंस के नीचे है सेकंड ईयर सेकंड ईयर माने तो बीसीएम कृष्ण बाबू आ छन देखते बच्चे ना तो कम ना कि प्रियंका नीचे चले आ जाओ मध्य आ छन बोर আমি এবার আমি একটা কাজ করছি আমি রেকর্ডিংটা বন্ধ করে দিচ্ছি বুঝলে